What's good, R&B squad? This is Hada Ruth. I trust that this message meets you guys in good spirits. If you're new to this family, we don't believe that you're here by accident. Welcome. We're happy to have you. And Jesus is, of course, always happier. Guys, it is raining where I am currently, and it tends to pour here so the sound can become pretty loud. If that happens, I will raise my voice over the sound of the rain, which I find to be very soothing, by the way. And if that's still not enough, what you can do is turn the closed captioning on so that if this word is for you, you don't miss anything. And as per usual, y'all know how we do it here. Do not run away with everything. Take what's for you as you listen and leave the rest. Eat the meat, spit out the bone. So this word comes from a dream that I had, and the dream is a very long dream with a lot of different parts, so I am not going to relate the dream itself to you guys. Instead, what I'm going to do is relate the message. If need be, I will insert details about the dream in there. If not, I'll just give the message. So the first thing is that those of you whom this word is for, you're about to walk into major blessings. You are about to walk into a major blessing. And what God is going to do is he's going to propel you in the spotlight. So in one way or the other, this thing, this blessing that you're walking into is going to put the spotlight on you, not to make you uncomfortable and not so that everybody can be in your business, but understand that this is part of your vindication. And initially, when you are in the spotlight because of this blessing, you may feel like you have to retract a little bit, like you have to pull back, like you have to stand in the shadows. No, no, no. God is saying this is your time to be in the light. This is your time to walk in the light. Don't be hiding in no shadows. When he blesses you with this thing, there are certain people that he wants to see you being blessed. And that is part of your vindication. You see, there are people who try to block you from this blessing. There are people who prevented you from accessing this blessing for a time and they thought that they were getting away with it, but God was using it so that they would end up with egg on their faces because it's going to turn out all that much sweeter for you in the end. Now, some of these people that were trying to block you from accessing this blessing, they wanted to set up a situation where you ended up sour and bitter, but the sourness and the bitterness that they intended for you is going to be their portion instead when they see how God blesses you. The very thing, the thing that they're most afraid of seeing you blessed is what is about to happen. That's what is about to take place right in front of them. And that blessing can look like different things for different people. For some of you, it looks like your money growing. For others of you, it looks like your business taking off. For others of you, it looks like you finally landing that job or that promotion or finally receiving the keys to your own home, finally being able to move away from people who are mistreating you. And God mentioned to me three times in this one dream, union and coming together. So for some of you whom this word is for, this is your marriage promise. Whatever the blessing looks like, you have had people opposing it. You have had people coming against it. And God has put you in a position now where they're going to see these things come to pass in your life. The Lord also repeated the wedding and a funeral word to me. That was a word that I put out last year. And he brought that word back to me. So if that hasn't happened to you yet, it is going to happen very soon because he repeated it. When he gets to repeating himself, that means the time for that thing to come to pass is drawing nearer or it's at hand. And now for those of you that the wedding and funeral word is for, the wedding is most likely yours and the funeral is that of somebody who opposed you or mistreated you or tried to keep you down. And this could make you feel bad. It can hurt your heart because for some of you, these people are people that you thought genuinely cared about you. For some of you, these are your family members. These are friends. These are not people that you want to see judged. But understand that you got it got to a point where God had to save you or save them, and they refuse to allow themselves to be saved. Understand that they refused to allow themselves to be saved by God. So he has no choice at this point, but to make sure that some of them aren't even there to witness you walking into the, your blessings. And those of them who are there to witness you walking into their, your blessings, that's part of the vindication that God is giving you. 
so that they get to see you blessed regardless of what they try to do. And for those of you for whom this is a marriage word, let me tell you something. This is a sure thing. This is a, sh- I ain't never seen God repeat union and coming together and three strand cord so much in one dream. It was repeated. It was on replay in this dream. So for whomever that part of the word is for, you're getting married. And for all of you that this word is for, whether this is a marriage word for you or this is a word about a blessing that does not have anything to do with your marriage union, it's a different kind of blessing. The Lord put emphasis on brief, short. So this is going to happen in a very short time frame, very short. Get things in order and in readiness so that when this happens for you, you are ready for it. And for those of you for whom this is a marriage word, I heard something about getting your documents together. Whatever documents you need to get in order, get them in order because you're about to. It's going to progress very quickly from engagement to marriage. And this could apply to you even if you're not speaking with your person right now. It's the appointed time for whom this word is for. God could not get any more clear than that. It was crystal clear that it's the appointed time for you. And the Lord led me to some scripture. He led me to Psalm 74, verse 23. I am reading from the New King James Version. This is also going to be in the description box. Do not forget the voice of your enemies. The tumult of those who rise up against you increases continually. And I'm also going to read from the New International Version. Do not ignore the clamor of your adversaries, the uproar of your enemies, which rises continually. So again, this ties into vindication. And your enemies, see, when these people came against you, they were coming against God because you went to God. You went to your daddy, God, and you complained about the attacks. So now they weren't coming against you anymore. They were coming against him. And that is what they failed to realize until it was too late. So now the Lord is saying to you, he has not forgotten the voice of your enemies, his enemies. And he is about to silence them in one way or the other. For some of them, it is going to be the silence of death. I just have to be plain about it and say it the way he said it to me. For others, it's going to be a silence of shame because they ran their mouth about you and they said you would never amount to anything or this thing would never happen. Some of you, they rubbed it into your face. Oh, you're never going to get that. You're never going to get anywhere in life. You're never going to accomplish that. What do you think you're doing? You must be crazy. You're delusional. Some of them insisted that you would never marry your person, that that would never happen. Well, you know what? God is saying the hour has come for your blessings to be bestowed upon you. And the very people that thought it would never happen are going to get a front row seat to see it happen. So I hope that this message bless someone. I love you guys. I will be back with another word as soon as the Lord releases me. Take care.